Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. This week's free episode. Yeah. You can check out the bonus episode over at patreon.com slash the show. Yeah, heaps of additional content over there, so check it out. Go watch it. Yeah. Bye. Good boy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fro Show. My name is Frank Mankin and I'm joined, as always, by my beautiful co-host, Joe Murray. Very Hello, beautiful. Frank. And we are joined by a very special guest today, Ian. I'm touched. I'm touched. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Exceptional. Good. Ooh, very Exceptional. Nice. Have you Have you done a show or a podcast or anything like that before? First time. First time. I'm a time. podcast virgin. Oh, we're hey. popping your cherry. Right. Yeah, 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 for <laughs> you boys. I'm doing it for you boys. I'm doing it popping for you. Popping the podcast cherry. Oh, yeah. Awesome, no, no. awesome. I'm ready. <laughs> um, so, I'll give my version of your, like... Yeah, go yours, for it. Yours, go for it. Your vibe. Synopsis. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it. But there's so much, but basically, musician, rapper, hustler is like the gist, right? That's the start of it. That's the start Ooh, of it. All right. That's the start. Do you want to just like take off? Feel free. Oh, hustler, hustler. Okay, okay. Um, look, uh, it started off with the music. Then I moved into fashion, um, doing like custom clothing, stuff like that. Mm. Recently, I started making like stickers and banners and things like that. So oh, I guess cool. it comes under the hustler. I guess the hustler covers that stuff. But um, lots of things. Professional climber. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's a joke. Don't put that in. Don't put that in. Um, nah. So, yeah, I, I've basically just been really expressing myself creatively. I used to do... Here's a little backstory. I used to do a bit of software engineering. Oh, that uni. is interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I used to do that stuff. Um, decided that it wasn't really for me. It took me three years to figure that out. Long ass time. <laughs> but we got there eventually. And uh, now I'm starting to do this stuff. So yeah, yeah. sick. So, so cool. what was your... So you did software engineering. What was your like progression? Like where did you go? You, you stopped software engineering. You're like, nah, not for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, yeah, yeah. What? then what? Then what? What was next after that? Um, then it took me about two or three months of just nothing. Just sitting at home, playing video games <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all yep. day, all day just to pass the time um, to figure out what I needed to do. But then I always knew like there was always something in me that was like, I have to do something. Mm -hmm. Like there's no point in me spending my time doing nothing. I'm sure you guys know the same. Yeah, yeah 100%. Absolute hustlers. <laughs> um, <laughs> You guys were on the Gary V, like talking to Gary V. And yeah, this, man. Yeah. We have a whole that's episode on that. Go watch nuts. the Gary V episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a plug for another podcast. That, watch dude, that. always plugs. Always yeah, plugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm going to say it was. It might have been like while I was playing games, I'd have like a TED talk going on or something. Oh, or yeah. even like Gary V or like Jordan Peterson or something like yeah. that. Like just have something playing mm. other than music because... I'm sure everyone else knows, like, you listen to music for so long, then you get bored, and then you're like, what yeah, do I yeah. listen to next? So I just started up, excuse me, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just started listening to, uh, you know, motivational things, and I was like, let's yeah. do it. Like, there's no point wasting the time, let's do it, now's the time, baby. Mm. Mm. Did you have That's a favorite so cool. one, a favorite motivational thing? Always the gym ones get me going, you know, like... Mm like Arnie talking you up you know like, <laughs> <laughs> how, can you, how can you not like how can you not you know um but honestly my go-to has always been Jordan big yeah. Jordan B mm. Peterson he's been my favorite um just the way he talks I'm I'm a bit more colloquial than him I would say I'm the Aussie version of <laughs> the young Jordan Peterson um but yeah he just a, not a specific episode but just his character his sophistication but also able to be like relaxed and stuff like that that's what really intrigued yeah. me so you were so you were listening to all this motivational stuff and you mm -hmm. were like i i have to do something yeah. with my life yeah basically. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. literally literally yeah. literally <laughs> yeah sick and then so where did you go from there did you go straight into music from there or yeah so that was that was about when corona hit like yeah. just mm -hmm. after last year i'd just gone to a trip uh to japan and come back and then I was like a, a bit of a potato couch, a couch <laughs> potato. Um, and from there, I sort of realized like, oh, I, I'd been doing music for three years before that. Um, and even before then, I had been singing in the uh, St. Stephen's Cathedral Choir. So I had a bit oh, of a voice. Oh, no way. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, was, that's a little tidbit. Yeah, there. yeah, there you go. There's <laughs> another little cheeky tip. Um, 
that I was singing in the choir for six or seven years, I think it was, yeah, since wow. I was like nine or something. Um, and the way I got into music is I got dumped really badly. It just ruined me. And my brother was like, all right, man, like you've been sitting around too long, just after high school. And uh, come, come round to my boy's house. We make music. They're already making music and chilling out. And I was like, yeah, all right, let's do it. Like, let's just do something. And I wrote my first song there. And my God, was it a <laughs> song? Excuse the language. Um, <laughs> is, it was it on, is it on Spotify? No, it will <laughs> never be. It will never be anywhere. Um, it'll be for me only probably. But uh, that was the first song I wrote. And from there, I, so that's when I started sort of getting into music. But I didn't take it so seriously then. Yeah. And so when I decided that it was time to quit uni and actually do what I wanted to do, um, that's when I really started music and Corona had just hit and it wasn't like there was no better time to start then yeah. Yeah. because I would just go to my brother's studio and it was just the two of us and we would just make songs all day. You yeah. Know? It was like, not like you had anything better to do. <laughs> no, exactly. <right? laughs> exactly. There was nothing else I was going to do. So yeah, I was like, I got to start something and that's where it started. Yeah. What was the first one you were like, all right, this is sick. The song, yeah. first song. Or and is it still online somewhere? <laughs> Yes, the first, the first song that I showed my mates that they were like, oh, this is crazy, is a song called uh, Too Close on Event Wave. Um, it's definitely a, like an early track, you know, like the mixing and mastering is not all as, as well as it could be and all that stuff. I'm sure yeah. you know as a sound engineer, <laughs> uh, yeah. early days, it's just you yeah, don't yeah, really know sure. what's going on. Um, but... That one was the first song where I sang on it and I showed it to a friend and he was like, this hook is crazy. Like, this is blowing my mind. Like, mm. And, and after, I was just hyped after that. Like, the <laughs> yeah. feeling of like getting pumped by your mates, like, mm. gee, that, it was such a good feeling. And I was like, no, nah, I've got to keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> like, there's no other way. There's yeah. no other way. Oh, that's sick. That's so cool. you have, I'm sure you have mixing and mastering. Oh, I have little... Oh, of can course. You, you want to come master a song? <laughs> I'll send you, you sure? some... Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe we'll, after the podcast, we'll talk about that. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, do you, so do you, um, do you produce your own music then? Or does like your brother do... No, so I'm, I'm all the vocals. Yeah. Um, so we've got our collective event wave. Um, yeah. Do you want to actually, before we get into that, do you want to... Kind of separate everything, yeah, because yeah, it, it okay. kind of flesh it out, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, nah, I hear that. All right, all right. So, Ian is sort of just my individual um, artist name, mm. but Vent Wave is, is actually the collective of, of boys that uh, when I went around to that house to make my first song, that was Vent Wave. Oh, yeah. And Vent Wave is really all about like it's about what you want it to be about, but to me, it's about venting like all your frustrations anger whatever feelings you got in you yeah and sort of riding away with everybody and like starting your own trend i guess yeah so we Start. really encourage like people to be creative and stuff like that start filming like you guys you know yeah. all about it like just start doing something creative because mm. you know there's we've got enough offices in the world you know like we need more <laughs> like creative individuals people doing things pushing boundaries and and uh that's what we've always really been about. Um, so yeah, the Vent Wave boys uh, on Spotify and when we make music, we sort of do tracks like all together. There's no real focus on like whose song it is. It's just a Vent Wave track when we all mm -hmm. come on the song. Um, but the Ian stuff is more just me. Um, but Ian is a part of Vent Wave yeah. in a sense. All right. Yeah. So you've got your individual and then you've got your like conglomerate section. Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That um, makes sense. Yeah, so it's five of us in Vent Wave. Yeah. And we just go out, we film the videos, we do all that stuff together. Yeah, sick. Good mates. Yeah. That's what it has to start as, right? Yeah, you guys sure. are good mates before everything starts. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. The other way around gets much more difficult if you're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, if yeah, you're yeah, 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 yeah. creative together first and then have to get close. That's 100%. That's I've where it gets rough. I've actually got a mate that's done that. Like he has a friend who he's, he's like not so fond. Like it's just a, you know, a, an average friend. Mm. Um, and he started a business with him and he's like always complaining. And I'm like, <laughs> my God, bro, just get out of there, bro. Just, just quit. Dissolve yeah, it. 100%. Yeah. 100%. You yeah. got to yeah. love it. And you got to love your mates too. And it's all about having a good time. Yes. 100%. Yeah, well, well, we yeah, probably do. We're creating. We do work like, what, 80% of the time? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, bad. <laughs> it's bad. The other 20% is. 
Uh, just sitting here. Oh. <laughs> Throwing stuff at each other. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe, take this paper editing, wasp. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did editing this takes a while. Like, I sit there and he sits there and I'm just, like, pegging stuff oh in the back of his my head. Oh, <laughs> my God. My right. Um Awesome. So we've separated Bent Wave and Ian. Yeah. yeah. Um, we were talking about mixing and mastering. Yeah, so then for, like, Vent Wave, you'd all kind of, as a group, you know, produce that together, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, the way actually, the way it all started when, when I've made these first beats um, at two years ago, uh, like the ones that are released, like Enzo and things like that, my mm. little EP there, um, most of those are YouTube beats because my mate who made the beats... Um, he wasn't really coming into the studio because of Corona and things oh, like yeah. that. And I was too motivated not to do anything. So I was like, I got to do something. Mm. And I know I could learn beats if I wanted to. Like, I, I'm not going to limit myself. I'm being lazy. I'm going to be <laughs> honest. Yeah. Um, anyone can do anything. But I decided that I really wanted to focus on the singing and yeah. the, the lyricism aspect mm. of it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would write the tracks and write the songs, all the lyrics, everything like that, and all yeah. the melodies. And then my brother would come in and mix and master it and then we'd release the track and that's how it would go. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. You want to do a track then? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sick, sick, yeah. Sick. sick. I love it. All right, well, I'll just leave yeah, um, you and you guys get oh. <laughs> Get a little bit more intimate. Live, oh, always, <laughs> always. <laughs> Live on the show, mixing and mastering. Oh, my God. Oh, that'd uh, be dope. First time. It'd be a first time, right? It's, it's fun. We did um, a while ago. We did a challenge because we have a, we have a Patreon. Yeah. Oh, um, sick. Okay. Which is how we monetize the show. Yeah. yeah. Um, and are there people out there supporting? There are. There are a couple of people out there supporting. You want to name drop? Appreciate them greatly. Um, oh, you put me on the spot here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> fake is fake. There's, Frank there's, is fake. there's Chris Rossi, Ebony Hart, Alicia Smith. Those are our three patrons at the oh, moment. Oh, big ups those three. Shout out to them. Love yeah. them lots. Um, but on the Patreon a couple of months ago, we did um, a job swap. So oh, I yes, I <laughs> mixed, what was it? Mixed and no. Mix and yeah, you, well, I gave you a track. Oh, yeah, it was a one hour mix. Yeah. So we had one hour to do each other's jobs. So I gave, oh I gave Frank goodness. an hour to do a mix. And I got him to, do, to re-edit a trailer. Did you film this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on Patreon. I can show you later. Yes. It's I like, a, it's like a six minute long video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, is. Yeah. Oh, so funny because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, and I just cut it, cut together a bunch of pieces from The Shining and showed him. Mm. Um, and was like, good luck, bye. And then afterwards we came onto the show and showed each other oh my goodness. what we did. Bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was horrendous. <laughs> 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 I found um, I found an auto pan plug-in. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I had like... I think it was like the guitar was just panning from left to right the oh, whole the song. Oh my god! <laughs> like some like hypno TikTok yeah. clock or it's something. Like made your head spin. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 uh, it, it was great was, though. It was like an R and B track as well, and it just turned into this. I mean, experimental. I don't know what. Well, clearly I'm more creative than you, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, no, but that that was that that was sick. Um, so. Music, mm. fashion, fashion. Yeah. What's the fashion stuff? Yeah. I wanna know about that. What's the fashion stuff? So, I like exclusivity. You know, like, yeah. and I think a lot of people do. I yeah. don't think it's just me. You know, you like to be mm. the only one or the first one out there with something like that. Yeah. Um, and I know a lot of people these days just wear bland colors, and I'm not. I'm not against it. You know, people can. It's easy. You know, it's easy yeah. just to put some thongs on some stuff like that but i like to push it a little bit further and it's sort of part of my ian character mm. to be like a bit expressive with the what you wear and things like that yeah um as you can see today i'm a bit dripped out <laughs> 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 um but i just i i really find it hilarious and it's also it also pushes you a little bit for confidence when mm. you go out there in something that's very vibrant and like a bit out there people always are looking at you and mm. i find it funny to look at people's reactions when you're walking <laughs> past and you're like what you, that guy's got wings on his shoes like what's going on there? <laughs> like there's no wings on him today not, not these ones <laughs> I, I'll, I'll show you some other ones like, <laughs> right. i got some cheeky ones <laughs> and from there i sort of just decided like well like instead of being a consumer all the time and just 
paying exuberant amounts of money for like mm. a t-shirt with a name on it why don't i just make my own stuff yeah so i've made my own shoes like painted them up like taken some jordans and stuff like that painted them wow. um in my own style obviously like they're very loud um <laughs> i know my style of clothing is super 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 loud um but yeah it, it sort of all started i guess from japan I really got inspired from Japan. I'd been there a couple times. Um, my brother showed me. I, I This is before, like, I would wear just whatever my mum bought me, you know. Like, she'd just go down to the shops, <laughs> yeah. get whatever. And me and my brother were sort of two years apart. So, they'd always, she'd always buy, like, similar shirts and stuff. Like that. Everyone's, you're twins, you're twins. <laughs> um, but really in Japan, my brother and I went all around Japan. And we were looking at thrift stores and something like that. And what got me hooked is my first pair of Timberlands. Mm. You might like those because yep. New York. Yeah. You want to do your New York I, stuff. I, I have some. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I have yeah, some yeah, Tim's yeah. boots. Oh, you're scary when you wear those. Oh, right? man. Walking down the street in those shoes, man. <laughs> you feel... I'm gonna, th- are we in your half of the edit yet? No, we're in my half. No. You feel like a bad... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%. <laughs> um, and that's what got me hooked, man. I I was always of the thought, like, I can't pull it off. Like, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do that. Mm. Just like a negative mindset. And then yeah. I put them on. And he's like, dude, they look good, man. And I was like, that's it. That was the tipping point for <laughs> that's me. That's all I needed. My first pair of Timberlands. And now i got a collection of them and I love them. <laughs> Timberlands are my favorite shoes. So if Timberlands ever watches this. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we've been trying for months with Road. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've got our I Love Road sticker on the, <laughs> on the side. <laughs> hey, yo, is it? <laughs> It's right, there. right in the middle. Do you see that? Yeah, right. Come on. <laughs> you speaking. You're saying you made stickers now. I do. We should oh, do true. We should get on that. Actually, we need to buy some from you. Yes, yes. Um, I can do that. I literally just started last week. All right, dope. We'll this buy is a some. New hustle. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Um, our, our goal. So we've we. This is going to be our sign. So this is our temporary permanent set. Yeah. Um, and we're working towards building a permanent set. Um. In another location. Yeah. So that's going to oh. be a studio and permanent set. In another location. In a secondary <laughs> location. <laughs> not um, to be disclosed to the public. Not to be disclosed, <laughs> exactly. Um, but this is going. This is our temporary sign. This is going to become our permanent sign. Yeah. So we've, we've painted on it with paint markers, this one. Mm. Painted on it with paint markers, and then we're going to cover it in stickers. And then we're going to get one big The Fro Show sticker and stick that on the front, and then that's going to be our sign. Yeah. Um, I think I can do that. Sick. I think I can do that for you. All right, cool. Ooh. Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> who, who drew this? Who drew this? We did. We, we Both sh- of you? So yeah. this is, this is that's so Joe's fun. half, because that's the side that Joe normally sits, yeah. and this is my half. So they're just doodles. Yeah, so we literally just, we spent a whole episode just sitting, there. sitting here. Joe's half's better. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. No, no, they're both good. I mean, no, I only, I only went to art school. Like, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hurt at all. It's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, but we want to we want to buy stickers from people, like people that we meet, people that I know online. Like yeah. this one's from a mate of mine in Canada, the the holographic one. Ooh. Um, says fix it in post, which is one of the jokes on our show. Um, yes. You know, Explain that joke. Just, just fix it. In, just fix it in post. So if it's you know, broken, you it's just broken. Just, just fix it in post. Oh, we'll fix okay, it later. Okay, Don't worry okay, about okay. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's yeah. always on set. Like if there's, <laughs> if there's someone on set, we'll fix it in post. Fix post. Just via, just we'll just green screen them out. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean you're gonna like green screen me out? You're gonna put like something else. Oh, 100 percent. There's just gonna be a monkey there. Oh. Like, <laughs> that'll be it. <laughs> oh, can it be the monkey like clipping my hair? You remember that meme back in the day? Oh, <laughs> can yeah, it be like a monkey like <laughs> clipping my hair? Please. Yes. Please. Done. I'm actually that's gonna sit. Fix there. it in post. Fix it in post. Fix it in post. <laughs> We're in my half of the episode. We edit the episode yes. in two halves. So I edit the first 30 oh, minutes. Oh, well, I've just given you a job. And Joe edits yeah. the last 30 uh, minutes. You know. all the jobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but with your Tims, like, that, I feel like that tipping point happens all the time. Like, yes. With everything. Like, you, you make something or you do something and someone comments. Someone goes, that's yeah. sick. I love that. And yes. then you go, oh. <laughs> I'm going all in now. Like that yeah, was yeah, all yeah. I needed. Literally, literally, yeah. bro. I hundred percent agree with you. And like, it's like just one sort of life change, one sort of risk that you take, and like the whole thing can change, man. Like, yeah, change your whole pathway, change everything. Yeah. So hundred percent. I'm glad I put those Tims on. Thank you to Russell, my brother. 
Oh, yeah, that's a cute yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Russell. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Um, so what? We've covered music. We've covered your fashion. Why did you start doing stickers? Because that feels really out of left field. <laughs> um, well, I I first bought this printer. Like I got, I've got a vinyl cutter, and it it like cuts Whoa. this vinyl up. And uh, I first got it for stencils for shoes because I want to like paint some crazy stuff, like some like Dragon Ball Z on the side or like some Naruto. You know, yeah. I do like a little bit of anime. Um, yeah. <laughs> I want to do some crazy stuff with it and like sort of change the game up uh, in the Brisbane sphere. And then I realized like, oh, you can also make stickers with it. And not only that, like you can you can make like wraps for your car and stuff like that. So oh. I'm going to put a little Ian on the back of my car very, very soon <laughs> on the back of the boot. Is it going to be your um, your, car, your Spotify cover photo? They're like, oh, <laughs> surely, surely. Look, it could be done. It could be done. Um, yeah, well, I don't know. The stick, I, li- I just like doing things. Like, I just throw yeah. myself at something, see if I like it, and normally it goes all right. If I don't, I just move on, you know? Yeah. Um, and yeah, stickers is just funky. Yeah. We've got a couple of vent wave stickers up around Brisbane. Oh, they're, yeah. They're oh, yeah. a bit hard to get off. They're a bit uh, <laughs> street spec, to put it nicely. <laughs> um, sorry to the council. Whoever's putting them up, um, please don't put them up. The hooligans. <laughs> <laughs> the hooligans. Um, yeah, yeah, but we, we've got we've got a heap of vent wave stickers up. And I guess it just started from that. I liked the idea of those. And then I started making my own. Yeah. You know? It's cool to have a physical a physical manifestation. Of yeah. Your yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like... like the same thing with that. Like, that's the first photo of mine that I ever got printed. And it's You like, took that? Yeah, yeah, that's my photo. An ibis taken off? It's a seagull. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, but that, like, holding that for the first time, I was like, whoa, mm. like, this is an experience. Yeah. To have something physical that you've made. Yeah, it's, it's Cause, unreal. Yeah, because so much of our work now is digital. Like, yeah. that's the same thing with your music, I'm sure. Like, yeah. there's, so, there's a very different feeling between seeing your song on Spotify and holding, like, a CD version of your song. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, we've just, because we've got a gig this weekend, we've actually just made some tapes, like some old cassette tapes. Oh, oh no way. Um, yeah, just with some like random songs that we like might not release and stuff like that. And That's cool. Some like old ones that we have released, just mixing it up in there a bit. Yeah. Um, and you're right, like the physical thing is just next yeah, level. Yeah. My first car had a cassette player in it and I had so many tapes. Oh my I had God. like a, I had a, a, a box that went under my passenger seat. What was the favourite? Um, I had the gu- I had Guardians of the Galaxy one and two soundtracks Ooh. on like the on, on tape. cassette. Yeah, they made them on cassette. Yeah, well, because they're cassettes in the movie, so are they? Yeah, yeah. So I got it on that, and that's you would know like about that, wouldn't you? You <laughs> <Yeah>. movie nerd. <laughs> 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 it is like seventy percent of my job. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, uh, hell yeah. Yeah, no, I totally get that though. Um, let's talk a little bit about your music though. Okay. Because. We were listening to some and we literally like 10 minutes before you showed up, (laughs) realized that Ventwave and Ian were different things. Oh, yeah. Because at the moment, your Ian Spotify isn't linked. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's true, that's true, that's true. That will be fixed, just so you know out there. Okay, good to know, good to know. (laughs) Um, But we were listening to all the Ventwave stuff. And then we went over to the Ian stuff and they were so different, but like, yeah, so sick. Yeah, they're both very cool. What's your What's your favorite thing on both of them? Favorite song or yeah. just, uh, just favorite song? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think my favorite song still got to be too close. Um, yeah, on the Vent Wave yeah. one. I it's have like I, my phone's one. linked up. We can play it if you want. Oh, it's a, like you want to listen to it? Yeah, man. If you want, if you want to share it on the show, like we absolutely can. It's up to you. Play it. All right, let's do play it. Play it, baby. I'll um I'll get it ready. You keep talking. Um, favorite song on the Ian Spotify. Ooh. This is a hard one because I've got so many unreleased songs as well. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, like this old stuff's not bad, but the new stuff is it like the bomb.com, you know? Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, when we perform live, my favorite song from the Ian stuff is has got to be Enzo. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It's a hard rap song. Um, and just the energy that all the boys bring because mm. they're not on the, some of them aren't on the track but they'll still rap with me when we're on the stage because you know you just do whatever you want you while out yeah. you know you have a good yeah. time 
um they really give me the energy and like we did a little performance uh, like practice last weekend yeah and i just was not in a good mood i was like grumpy tired um you know sleepy it, all the all the bad things and i came in and my mate's like no we do enzo right now you, we wake you up and i was like yeah right let's do it and my god was it a good another <laughs> hour of performance i was in it i was in it baby oh, I, I was got, alive I gotta find That's enzo it. i was now. alive we're starting with enzo 100 percent, 100 percent. all right uh, um um what's it on is it on spotify yeah 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 under okay. ian it should be down the bottom oh there it is all right this is plus one stream um <laughs> to my spotify account <laughs> well hopefully we can make it like plus more <laughs> yeah, yeah so this is your favorite yeah. to perform absolutely all right right now you want to put some like footage over this instead of us just sitting here? Nah, man, we just nah. <laughs> I keep you with a rhythm, then I bust back quick. When I hear on my life, got talk your shit. I'm worth way too much at all. I can't you get what you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just bops. Yeah. Everyone sort of just has the energy in it. Yeah. I'm just going to like dump that and just leave that going. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. That's sick. So you're performing soon. Yeah, this weekend, Valentine's Day. Oh, true. Yeah, um, you did mention that. Yeah, not a good day to perform one, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we will be performing at a place in, I think it's West End, called like King Tanuki Lounge. That sounds, it's, it's, that no, sounds it's like some a place day, right? and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right, right. <laughs> we had no clue. We had no clue. Our mate like no, sort of knows these people. And... He told us like, "Oh, it's at King Tanuki Lounge." We're like, where is that? Like, that's yeah. a, who's King Tanuki? <laughs> like, who's this guy in prison we're sleeping on? King Tanuki? We have no idea. <laughs> and we search up the website, and he's got like his own little studio. It's just him and his mate, and they just mm. like make tracks and stuff like that. Wow. You can come in and pay for studio time. Mm. So, uh, ups, uh, big ups, King Tanuki, uh, <laughs> yeah. for letting us play there. What a name, man! I know, that's I so know. Cool. It feels like it could be like some african king you know like yeah you know, some like some royal dude i would have said like a an egyptian pharaoh Ooh, like yeah, oh yeah, they yeah, found yeah. king tanuki's <laughs> tomb <laughs> <laughs> no no i hear that i hear that yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. that's sick so you're performing this weekend yep. um you mentioned to me the other day that you were doing like a song releasing thing do you want to talk Ooh. a little bit about that yeah, we can talk about we that. Can talk we about can that. talk about that. <laughs> it's on record. so like it's, a, it's on the record. <laughs> um, yeah, we can definitely talk about that. Um, I'm working on it, but the plan is I'm just sorting everything out right now. Yeah. I don't want to leak too much, but, uh, you know, you got to keep something mysterious. You got to keep a little bit of excitement. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Keep it on edge. But um, the plan is once I start releasing things, one song a week for the rest of the year. That's crazy, That's man. Insane. Yeah. Um, I've got a bit of a backlog from th just the end of last year and all this year that I've been working. Mm. Um, but that's the plan. That's a good when, plan. When that will start to be advised. It's <laughs> coming very soon. Very, very, very soon. De release date, TBD. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. The plan is to start in March, though. Oh, okay. So oh, we're, yeah. we're putting that out there. The plan. The plan. I'm I'm holding myself uh, accountable for okay. this knowledge. Well, we'll we'll clip that. Oh <laughs> no, 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 I'll no. save it. No, 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 no. I, actually, I rewind the tape, uh, fix it in post, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. That see, that's exactly how we use that. That's how you use it. That's yeah. exactly oh. how we use that. You are officially a part of the show. I could be a third member then. Yeah, done. Yeah, yeah we'll make it the <gasps> Froian show. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds dope. <laughs> that does. That's kind yeah. of a sick rap name, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> We're Froian on the track. We could do three. We've got Ian, Vent, Wave, and Froian. <laughs> <laughs> it could work. It could work. I'm down. All right, give me two seconds. got to reset. <laughs> it's on? We're back on? We're on. We're going. We're on. All right, this is Joe Edit. So now I'm going to be swearing every third word. <laughs> 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 um Nah, I want to know about you guys, like Joe as well. But like, how did how did this friendship start? Like, oh, like you want to? You got this. I feel me? like I've talked a lot because yeah, I've watched I've watched a couple episodes, 
Mm. And maybe I missed the origin ones because what episode are we up to now? Like this 50 is something? F- oh, this is 49? Yeah, this is f- yes. 49. 49. 50, oh 50 51. Goodness. Yeah, this is 49. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I need to catch up. And we have not mi- and we Jesus. have not missed a week. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, like where did this start? Like I don't know if you've told the origin story before. If you have, just give it <sighs> briefly, but I think we I have. Don't I don't think we've gone in depth. But like feel I, free. I I'll give it to you. I'll well, give, give you the stick. Like yeah, you can have two mics. Oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> feel like this. the paparazzi. Yeah, I feel like the president or something. <laughs> um <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we we went to school together. Oh, sick! Yeah, um, yeah. And we did. We were both into like performing arts in school. Yeah. Um. So I was. We were both into music as well and drama and that sort of oh, stuff. Oh, I love so drama too. Yeah, drama so is so so, so good. good. So good. Um. So we were we were both like being creative together in yep. school anyway. Um. And then, well, you started doing your own YouTube stuff. Hey? Yeah. Um, which was awesome. Um, and you were doing photography in school, uh, and I started doing my own music. Um, I'm not a songwriter. I can I can't write songs to save my life. Um, but <laughs> I think you could deep down though. Maybe I'm, I want to try. It's like in here. Yeah. I want to try. It's like in <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just <laughs> below Wait. the heart, somewhere <laughs> around. It's there. the stomach. The problem <laughs> is you, you're <laughs> not eating enough. <laughs> oh, is that it? <laughs> I can feel it grumbling. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So you know we're being creative together in school, and then I guess sick. We just, when did we start this? Was it 12 months after we graduated? Yeah, it would have been started last year. Yeah. So we we graduated and we'd been apart for 12 months, um, hanging out every now and then. And then all of yeah. a sudden, Frank was like, do you want to do a podcast? <laughs> and I said, yes, thinking that we'd do, you know, three episodes or something. <laughs> yeah, and, we'd done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and here we are, 40, 48 no. weeks later. Yeah, this is 49. 49 weeks later. Um, my goodness yeah and um we got that little um production business starting up Sick. i'm sure frank's told you a bit about that actually he has not oh has not. That's a bit has s- oh okay it's okay, been under okay. wraps yeah, yeah, no no it's good yeah, yeah. it's good we've been talking about it a lot on the show i don't really talk about it much in person no. yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah particularly like where we are yeah <laughs> no, no, that's fair but everyone's yeah. listening they want to steal your ideas exactly mm. You got True. good ideas too. I, I can tell by the size of your head. It's <laughs> 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 I have to wear a, I have to wear a hat for a show that I'm in, and it, it doesn't fit. Like it's sitting like it's like half tilted forward. <laughs> it doesn't fit on my head. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's so good. Um, yeah, that is like the abridged that, version. Yeah. Um, mean, you did think it was like two or three episodes, and that just kept I going. I did. Yeah. I, I had no idea. Really? Actually, yeah. do you want to see? I don't know how far got back you've gone. Have you seen anything other than this set when you had a look at the show? Or what's behind this sheet? Is that what you're talking no, about? No, no, I mean like in <laughs> old episodes. Is there someone <laughs> hiding back there? <laughs> oh there's, there's actually, this is actually a prank show. And there's someone's going to just Scotty? like jump out. Scotty? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, um, I'll show you the first episode um, oh, so of the oh show. Oh my God. Frank's so, uh, Frank's so antisocial on his phone. Miller, yeah. the podcast. Oh. How could he? How could I'm he? I'm sorry. <laughs> this actually, he? this happens more than I'm willing to. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is what the, the show looked like. Um, it's muted. Surely. Oh, it's muted. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> this is the 7th of March was the first episode of this show. Oh my goodness. Last and what a good year. day wow. that was. It was a beautiful day. It was sunny. No, it wasn't. We we filmed it at like 11... What was it? Like 9 p.m.? 8 p.m.? Yeah, something stupid. Wait, it's sunny. So that's, that's how do we know that this podcast not on the moon? How do, how do these there people know? There is no know? proof. There is no <laughs> proof. <laughs> how do the people not know that? But no, don't show them. Don't show them. Don't show them. All right. Um, that's, that's a change of scene. So that's what it looked that's like right at the start. Is that this room? That's this room, mm. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And the long hair from... He, Joe's got his hair out. <laughs> You've got yeah. your hair long. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so that was against, th- we were filming the opposite direction. Yeah. Um, I, l- I, I think you guys have leveled up. This new setup is 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 the GOAT. I, I reckon. reckon. And then the next the next one, oh. man, the next one's going to slap. Oh. The permanent set? Back on there. 100%. Yeah. Once we have the permanent set, we're like working on getting gigs now, yeah. making some money, mm-hmm. and then we're going to build that permanent set. Yeah. Because it's going yeah, yeah. to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get me excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, we've been talking about it for months. We're hype. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a funding thing. Well, what's the, the goal? What's the goal? Do you do you want something like the Joe Rogan podcast where he's got like his whole like 
big big like office space and then they're like playing with the the flamethrower with elon musk <laughs> in the <laughs> lobby like is that the plan like, now nah, we, we want to keep it like friendly hey we yeah. don't want it to be like joe rogan set where it's a bit oh, like true. yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah um now nah, we're looking at something like chill little corner some egg chairs <laughs> Oh yeah, you know, nice and comfy. Yeah, yeah, nice and comfy. Bean bags, Dude, oh, Ooh. bean bags, mate. I like it. This is a great addition to yes. this idea. <laughs> that that sounds comfy. Like yeah. that sounds comfy and cozy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, because like you know, our show started really serious. Like yeah. the first mm. episodes were just like information dumps, basically. Yeah, but yeah. then as it's progressed, we've gotten less and less serious and just more and more casual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which works a lot better. We yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it makes for things like this way more interesting where we're not like you know how much money have you made in the past 12 months <laughs> yeah, I'm, innocent. I'm innocent <laughs> <laughs> exactly so it gets yeah. like really accusatory um but yeah like it's gotten way more chill over time we, we want our sets to represent that yeah 100%, um, 100%. so the next one will be super chill like yeah, just yeah, hanging yeah. out mm. um and like in the in our post show um, which, if you want to be on, feel free. Mm. Yeah. If you want to stick around for the post show, it's like 15, 20 minutes. Okay, yeah, let's um, do it. <laughs> but we do it handheld, so we take our mics off our stands yeah. and we do the whole thing handheld, so it's very Ooh, okay. very chill, <laughs> very calm. <Okay. laughs> yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Let's All right, roll. cool. Um, I will warn you, mm. it starts immediately when the music fades out and then we race to be the first person yep. to have their mic out of the stand. Oh, so I've got to take mine out of the stand. Yeah, so you gotta take it out of the oh. stand and unwrap your XLR cable. <laughs> 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 All right, let's do it. So I, I trust you as a musician yeah, that you yeah, know yeah. what you're doing. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so yeah, keeping that casual vibe is is mm. getting more and more important for us. I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah, hundred yeah. percent, hundred percent. Um, is there anything you, anything else you want to like bring up? Because like mm. we've brought up the main mm. stuff for us. Like we have some deeper questions, well, but. Well, I want to know, like, what's going back to the music kind of stuff? Yeah. What's your like creative process for writing a song? Ooh, good question. Like, how do you um, come up with that? Yeah. How do I come up with that? I get really sad. Yeah. I start sipping on a <laughs> an iced tea. I get really upset. Um, <laughs> tears start coming out, <laughs> and then the words hit the page. Um, nah, <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> uh, but also, isn't that how your first song was written? <laughs> We don't talk about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, for me, honestly, as as cliche as it sounds, it honestly just comes in the moment. Mm. Um, I'll hear a beat for the first time and I'll just start like humming something. It, like, yeah. And I'll be making music anywhere, like while I'm making a sandwich in the kitchen. Um, my favourite thing to do is to drive up to Mount Cutha because oh. uh, I'm privileged enough to have a sports car. <laughs> and I rip it uh, up around the long way and I just play music while I'm like just no beats with just instrumentals. Um, and I'll just start humming something, singing something, belting it out. You know, mm. there's no one around there. You know, yeah. I can be as loud as I want. Um, and then eventually something will kick and it will just go. Like mm, I'll, yeah. I'll just start writing to a vibe, you know. Um, but most of the best things have just come in the moment i've just been writing and then like i write a line i'm like yeah that's pretty cool and then the next thing i'm like oh that's even better you know <laughs> yeah. it just keeps getting better and better and then it like blends all together and you mm. just start singing it and like the way i do my hooks is if they get stuck in my head then you know it's catchy yeah, yeah so that's fair enough. i'll just lay it down and then everyone in the studio's like whoa dude, like, <laughs> next level and i'm like yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that, that, that's honestly sort of the creative process for me. Just finding a place that I can just express myself, mm. whether it's in my house, outside. Um, the weirdest place I've written a song, I was waiting <laughs> outside a line at an art show and there was people all around me in the alleyway and I was waiting to go in. And I just, I wasn't having a terrible day, but like, I just wasn't feeling like the social aspect. I was like, oh, I don't really feel like talking to people today. Mm. So I, while I was waiting to go into this art show, um, I plugged in my headphones and I wrote a whole song right there, Whoa. like in the, in the line. Yeah. I just wrote the whole thing. I was just feeling like it was a vibe, you know, I was yeah. emotional yeah. Um, and everything just came to me, the words, the style and uh, yeah. 
I don't know if I'll ever release that song, but I did write a song. And, and then <laughs> <laughs> There's no proof. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's sick. That's a good. Yeah, that's really that cool. is a really good story. Yeah. Release, <laughs> release that song. Win a Grammy with that song. Oh. Tell mm. that story on Tell stage. Tell the story. <laughs> yeah. Because that's that's one of those like tearjerker. It can be done. Like banging, banging yeah, stories. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it can be done. It can be All done. All right, cool. Um, how much have you got in your back catalog at the moment? Do you reckon? Unreleased. Yeah. Ooh. Close to finished songs. I'd be talking like. 10 yeah um songs that are like demo takes and things like that maybe you got like another 10 there or something like that that's pretty solid yeah that's a solid amount of music mm. yeah well i find that just the consistency works for me like just coming to the studio every day just pumping it out mm. um keeps you in a good mood i was yeah. telling frank um i like to work on just four hour blocks so I'll oh just yeah. go to the studio for four hours and just do four hours and then I'll leave. Just because yeah. I feel like after four hours, I'm just becoming lazy and yeah. like unfocused and then we'll start talking about some silly YouTube videos yep. and stuff <laughs> like that. And as much as that's good, I love doing that. I absolutely love mm. doing that. Like sometimes you just want to be in the focus zone and yeah. just get stuff done. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, that's so basically what that's we do as well, isn't it? Like usually, except with the spitballs and the paper was. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we 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 do everything on a Thursday, so we shoot in the morning, yeah. and then we'll take a break around midday. We'll do lunch, or we'll go shoot something, or whatever, yeah. and then we'll come back and we'll edit the podcast. Like that's usually, yeah, like our process. So we yeah. got that. We it basically is four hour blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like um, that little bonding lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Did I cook for him almost every week? Yeah, it's oh. great. <laughs> What what's the best thing you can cook? Oh, my favorite my the it's not the best thing that I can cook, but my favorite thing to cook mm-hmm. is um chili chicken with sauteed veggies and some rice. Dude, it is good. so good. It's It'll good? clear your sinuses. <laughs> <laughs> It'll clear your sinuses. <laughs> oh my god. It's great for before a gig. You'll be like <laughs> oh, you'll be sweet. <laughs> yeah, either that or you'll be all sniffly like <laughs> <laughs> What did that guy just say on stage? Ian yeah. on the beat. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Yeah, there's going to be someone that's just clicked out of this episode because they're like, that was disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Oh, so good. <laughs> Can you cook anything from like your heritage? Yeah. So um, I can do poffages, which is like tiny little Dutch pancakes. They're like Ooh. nice and fluffy. Oh, they're good. They're really good. Are we talking about like they're like thick? They're like they're thick, yeah. You and you like you cook them and then you cover them in powdered sugar. Oh, they are oh. so good. Um, apple flapper, which is like oh, that's a cool name. That is <laughs> a sick, apple a flapper. <laughs> <laughs> that's like um, it's it's like the closest thing to it would be like an apple turnover. Oh yeah, and then it's okay. like it's good. It's actually I think it literally is an apple turnover. It's basically an apple turnover. It's good. Um, and then there's, you'll like this one too. Um, it's Olibola, <laughs> which literally translates. Someone's <laughs> making up these <laughs> names. Like, the same dude that came up with the, the pasta church, the pastafarians, bro. He's making up these <laughs> names too. Like the dude's just going in there making stuff. <laughs> the Olibola slap though. It literally translates to oil ball. Oh. It's like It's like a dough ball with raisins and you deep fry it. It is amazing. Um, most of the stuff that I can make culturally is like deep fried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, not really, there's not really a lot of Dutch food outside of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. That sounds amazing. Dude, I love food. Food's great. Yeah. Um, foodie. A little Frank, bit of a foodie. Frank's Instagram foodie page. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to grow that one organically. <laughs> Um, I had I had a question. Yeah. Everyone has like their inspirations, right? Mm-hmm. Who's your inspiration for your music? And or slash, do you have inspiration person, for your music? A person. Person, or band, or could be a, an art piece that um, you like specifically. Like. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm influenced by a lot of people. Mm-hmm. The way I sort of make music is I don't really stick to one genre. Yeah. I just do whatever I want. 
I, I like that better too because like no one's telling me, oh, you're always going to be making rock songs or something like that. But no, nah, I just do what I want. Um, uh, who really influenced me? Honestly, I think a lot of people will resonate with this um, Juice World. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I, it, it was just the way he carried himself, like what he was saying. Yeah. I couldn't really relate too much to the like the drug references and all that stuff that he was saying cuz I'm not really into that scene but like just the way he was talking about like anxiety and all these other feelings that everyone experiences all the time we're just embarrassed to share them or whatever like that. Yeah. Um yeah, he like he just had a personality. Mm. I heard an interesting story about him um and some rapper in America like was attacking him on Instagram, like sending him messages and, and like sharing on his story, like, oh, like, just well, your music sucks, bro. Like, and getting up him and all that stuff. Yeah. And then like, he didn't, he, uh, he had to reply to the dude and he ended up being like, oh man, it sucks that you hate my music, but I listened to your stuff and it's absolutely slapping. Like, <laughs> he was like so cool about it. And I, I, I've sort of taken that mentality from him. Like, yeah. you know, don't, if someone else is being negative to you, like, you don't need to be negative back. Like you can just give them good energy back. Mm. That's sort of my vibe. I mean, a lot of people like <laughs> will backtrack then as well. Like yeah. If you give them the good energy back, they'll be yeah, like... Yeah, and, and then it all ended up resolving because the, uh, the dude that started it was like, oh, no, I don't have beef anymore, you know. Like, yeah. He was like, I'm all cool. Like, <laughs> I was like, all right, all right. Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a song um, mm. like dedicated to Juice World, don't you? I do. Yeah. You've done your research. I, I have. Like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> we filmed a whole video for that, actually. Oh, I don't think um, I saw that. Well, pretty much what we did is I got a cork board and I just stuck up like... It, was, it, it wasn't a full like music video. It was more like a lyric video sort of thing. Yeah. Mm. But we got a cork board and I borrowed my mate's um, Ronan stabilizer. Yeah. You would know about those. Yeah. Um, and we took a DSLR and we just like filmed and had like all the stuff poked in so like the postcards and pictures of him and all that and just the lyrics written on them and just like sort of went around the cork board where all the lyrics were showing photos and just like to show remembrance because yeah he is one of my biggest idols 100 mm. percent. so yeah check the video out if you want to yeah. the oh, song awesome. i like it i like it it's definitely old older yeah. style and we've we've come a long way from then um but yeah i think the video has got like really good sentiment yeah that's good. I like, mm. I really, and you can always tell when like a, a video is, has personal attachment. I yeah. Think. Mm. Yeah. hundred so percent. That's sick. I'll, we'll definitely watch it. We'll watch it. Yeah. We'll, we'll chuck it on while we're editing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, sick. Um, that reminded me of a question you had earlier, mm. um, about the, that's literally where I was going. Was yeah, go, the, yeah, go. Now I can't remember what they're called. Um, the like single covers and album covers, like the photos. Oh, um, do you make them or does someone like else? Like the cartoons? Do? Yeah, or there was one in particular. Do you remember? It, which was, song it was um Cutie Patootie. Your the cover with all uh, the collage. Yes, yes. Yes, I made that actually. You made that. I made that. I went out that there and for the first time in my cover. life I bought a woman's weekly for the <laughs> first time and I cut it all up. Um and what I did is I I, <laughs> I think in the main uh the main woman in, in the front, like forefront of the picture was like a I don't know who it was. Um, but then I put like the queen's eyes over it. So she looked really <laughs> old and like gave her the bouquet of flowers and the queen's hat. Um, and yeah, I, I thought like that was just a funky little cover to do. So I just like yeah. bought a woman's weekly, did that, cut it up, pasted it. It's in the studio. Oh wow. yeah. 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 It's just like, a like I've put it up as on a piece of paper and it's <laughs> so in the studio. It's uh, straight up one of the coolest album covers. I've yeah? Seen. yeah. Yeah. I love Hell it. yeah. I didn't Sick. even realize it was a photo. I thought it was photoshopped. No, nah, that's a photo. That's crazy. That's a photo. It's just a collage. Yeah. Well, maybe I didn't have good enough look at it, but yeah, yeah. that's so cool. <laughs> Cheers. Um, right. The cartoon stuff. Who does that? Yeah. Me. You do that. I do that. I that do that. Is um, sick. I try and do all my album covers yeah. as much as I can. Are there any that you haven't done? Um, there, I think Disguise, like it's a photo With of me. Yeah. 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 I painted a mask like from spotlight a half mask thing mm -hmm. um in like louis vuitton style that took a couple of hours so it was, it was annoying but like it, it was cool because i had the idea in my head and i thought like, i need to do this yeah um 
And so I painted that and then my brother took a picture of me and he just chucked some Photoshop effects on it. Mm -hmm. So that's probably the closest that album cover that I haven't done, yeah. you know, but everything else I've done, yeah. That's insane. Mm. Yeah. They're awesome. Like, Cheers, they're seriously yeah. really, like, Cheers, they're yeah. really good album covers. I love art, bro. I, I love, I love yeah. it, like creativity and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm all about Dude, it. Dude, the Quarantine Queen album cover made me laugh. That was, <laughs> that was great. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's so good. <laughs> There's a video for that too. Did you have videos for everything? Like yeah, yeah. You yeah. just you just pump it. You just pumping them out. I have to. That's I have great. to. Just like you guys are. Yeah. But yeah, I have to, bro. Otherwise, I feel like I'm not doing something, you know. Yeah. And I'm oh, sure you guys have the same mm. feeling. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm reading at the moment. I'm reading um, Mark Manson's book. I'm reading Subtle Art of Not Giving a. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Really I'm, re good. I'm reading that too. Are you? Yeah. How I far any? Uh, not so far. I'm not good with the routine on the reading. <laughs> but, um, I'm like, I'm like fifty pages in, so I'm not that far either. I might be just under you, like forty. All right. I'm slow though. Right. I'm really. We've slow probably reading. read the same part then, but there's there's a part that he talks about where he talks about um, like why people make it and why people make it in their in their journeys and that sort of thing. Yeah. And he basically says like. The people that don't care about the outcome are going to make it because yeah. they're in it because they enjoy the journey. And they yeah. actually like, you have to genuinely enjoy the journey. The reason that starving artists make it is because they genuinely enjoy being a starving artist. Like 100%. they enjoy that lifestyle of bumming around. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And bro. Like the people that are in it just for the outcome and aren't enjoying the process, aren't going to get there because they don't have the motivation to keep going. So that like... 100%. 100% is what you're at. Yeah, that? yeah. I, I, I think you said it spot on because I know a lot of people in the Brisbane scene like just doing art shows and stuff like that. Um, if you haven't heard of them, there's like AV Club, which is a place where young collaboratives can sort of um, work together and stuff yeah. like that. And then there's also art shows like... I think it's called the Back Dock Arts yeah. Festival Back with Dock Bad Olive. I have a couple. Of, I have a couple of friends who do yeah. stuff at Back Dock. Actually, yeah. I think I think one of them has a show this weekend. But yeah, and j just like just to see the progression and things like that, and you know, uh, I'm gonna get a bit serious here, but like, there I've I've talked to people in the past. I love talking to people when I go get like when I go to Zambreros or something like that, right? Like, you know, those people don't really want to be there. They're all like younger and like the, you know, they probably hadn't had a great day just sitting there. Um and I like to ha like have fun with them and like give them like even if it's just like five minutes of like a conversation, um, mm. that will make five minutes of the day go faster, you know? Mm. Um and I've talked to people and there are like some really lovely people out there. But sometimes you hear like, oh, like, what do you want to do in the future? And they, they'll just talk about like what they want to do for the money. And, and I get it. Like, I know, I know you, you don't want to be starving on the street or anything like that. You know, you want to be having a roof over your head and stuff like that. And mm. we're blessed to have it. But if you, I feel like if you just focus on the money aspect, you won't really get what you want. Because um, I don't think there's any happiness in the money you know like you said it's the journey you know it's the process of not knowing how to make a song or a podcast and now you're like moved from over there like <laughs> against the wall so we've moved like five look, meters look, and you're like you've leveled up you've got like a, a little desk thing here and then the next set will be even cooler and it'll just keep like leveling up like a video game and you'll just love like bringing each guest on every thursday you'll just want to enjoy it you know yeah that's really what it's about. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent, man. It's all the journey. Everything yeah. is the journey. The de the destination doesn't matter. Yeah. If 100%. you get there, you get there. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. Man, I reckon that's a great spot to end that. <laughs> yeah. I that's think so that's too. it. That like awesome. that's, that's the end. it. Like look, that's that's almost an hour, man. Bro, time flies. Yeah. yeah. This is what like we do this every week and it never never slows down. Yeah. It goes no. so fast. Every well, there's a couple episodes where you're like <laughs> you're trudging <laughs> through. Oh, yeah. But like for the most part it goes pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well then let's end on this. I want to ask Is it a good question to ask this? What's the worst conversation you've had? Like have you had a bad oh, you can't say bad guest, you know. Like, <laughs> <so> <laughs> like, like where what's the most down that you've been, you know? Like 
like the, the on, worst conversation on the show. Yeah, have you, has there been like an, an episode where you're like, nah, this is not it. Like today <laughs> is not the day. What like, episode? We, I, we, everyone's um, always talking about their highs. I want to hear about the lows. Oh, yeah. What episode was it? There was one episode where we finished and we went, that sucked. <laughs> There's been one or two that have been pretty. Oh, you don't have to say which ones because then no, people I'm might not go. No, <laughs> they to. might not go watch. Hold on. I mean, I'm every time we refer to episode one now, I hate it. But that's like with me though. I can't watch my music videos anymore. No. Mm. No, I can't. I like. I I love what we've done with them, and mm. you know, in the creative process, we've been like, yeah, this is like a crazy idea. Like in the cutie patootie video, we drift trucked down the middle of edward street that's such a cool um, video man yeah yeah it was fun as hell <laughs> um something that not many people can say they've done in brisbane you know <laughs> <laughs> um, if anyone but i can't watch my old stuff yeah. i like it's once it's done it's done you yeah know? I'm, I'm chuck it up don't look at yeah, it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, 100%. yeah um episode 28 was definitely one that we were like Gah. that what was the one we called it's the aperture mc one the one we talked about the little light I don't. I don't remember. We it. just we just rambled on for like forty five minutes about a light because we had nothing else to do. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and it's flashing and <laughs> literally it, it was like, like it bag. has cool <laughs> settings where it like <laughs> it makes cop car <laughs> lights. <laughs> Actually, I remember that now. We had to milk it as long as we could. Oh, we milked that so hard. There's definitely uh, a couple where like you get forty five minutes about a light. Respect. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> the first epi- couple episodes are rough though because mm-hmm. we didn't like we didn't you're figuring out what to do yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. had this idea in our head for what the show was and then we did it and it didn't work and so yeah, you're trying yeah. to like work you physically and we always wanted to do well joe didn't but i wanted to do an episode a week yeah yeah, yeah, yeah um yeah. from the start so it's like and that's not easy it's really hard yeah, yeah it's that's really not hard. easy that is <laughs> we not got easy. um what have we got we got one backup episode in the bank at the moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, in and case something goes horribly wrong and we mm. we can't record. So Is we it have about a, lights too? No, it's... <laughs> it's probably much worse. It, no, it's actually... It was a good episode. There's some good stuff in there, but oh. we like are, are trying not to... Obviously trying not to put that out because yeah, we'd yeah, rather... Yeah, yeah. We'd rather just do an episode a week and yeah, keep it current. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. Do you... We'll, we'll finish up. We, I, we can keep talking forever. Yeah. But we'll yeah, keep, yeah, we'll yeah, keep yeah, talking absolutely. in the post show. Um, but plug your stuff. Where can people find plug you? Plug my stuff. Um, you can find me in Brisbane, probably. <laughs> oh, actually, you might have to cut that out. <laughs> you might have to cut that out. We'll cut that. We'll cut that. <laughs> if you leave it, I wouldn't just do that. Don't, just don't <laughs> get. Um, do you want to give your home address next? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Done. Um, we'll, we'll cut it. You'll be right. God damn. No one will show up at your door. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Instagram at the Ian Official. Uh, you can find me on Spotify uh, with Ian with dots between them all. Um, or Ventwave. Sick. Nice. That's it. All right, cool. Um, at the end of the show, we do something where we all say bye. Hmm. So we Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll go like this. We'll go bye, bye, and you can have the last bye. When you say the last buy, you're going to press that button. I'm going to press You're going to press that yeah. button. Oh, I got the power. Yeah, you got the power. <laughs> okay, so okay. just like give, give it a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just chuck your finger on it. Yeah, there you go. Is it sensitive? It's, yeah, you, you can just bop it. It's like a pad on a... Um, oh, it's on the same a, as a drum pad. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So make sure you got your, make sure you got your mic. Oh, so I... Uh, this is the post show, hey. Oh, no. We're, yet, we're, yeah, we're, we're getting there. there. We're getting there. All right. So get your finger on that button. I'll start. Then we'll go you. Yep. And then we'll go you. And that'll be the end of the episode. All right. All right. You ready? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Let's All do right. it. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to this episode of The Fro Show or watching it on YouTube. You can check us out on social media at Twitter, The Fro Media, and Instagram, Fro Media. Awesome. And if you want to check out the post show, which Ian will be in, and Dessert. all mm. the other stuff that we do, check us out at patreon.com slash The Fro Show. Oh, yeah. We will see you there. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Fantastic, well done. Oh, he's winning. Wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wait, he's whoa, going, whoa. he's going, he's going. Oh,